That's a million dollar question. <laughs> Everybody has his own answer probably. And the more you ask, the more varieties of answers you'll get. Uh, you can divide it into categories, uh, but this will not end the whole list of uh, things. Why she hates me? Some say it's a political. She sees, this is not what I'm saying, this is one of the person people will tell you. Uh, she sees me as a political opponent. And I keep explaining, look, I'm not a political guy. Why should she take me as a political and uh, kind of uh, opponent for her. Uh, they said, no, no, you wanted to create a party. I said, way back, something happened under very different circumstances. I was pushed, pushed, pushed that you have to create a political, but there's no politics in the country. You have to do that. Uh, people know you, you're well known throughout the country. This is your the best way to do that. So under such a serious pressure, even my very close uh, friends, they put pressure, they are very important people. So finally I said, okay, I'll do that, to make them happy. She uses uh, uh, government occasions, very official occasions, make very serious speeches. And in this speech, she calls me a uh, bloodsucker, she calls me all the dirty things that she could come up with, and tells the story of Padma Bridge and so and so. So I don't know why. It's, it's a one-party state, because uh, other parties don't count, doesn't matter anybody, to anybody. Uh, so this is where we are in. And uh, even for that, we cannot express our uh, views and uh, uh, go to the polling booth and exercise our voting right to see that whether we want this or we want that. We, we, uh, we, we are, those rights are kind of disappeared for us. Well, I don't think it's fair because uh, those cases are made in a flimsy ground if you use those standards, I think every Bangladeshi will be in court. This kind of level that you're talking about. Uh, so this is, this is something that we don't see any reason why you should be dragged into the court. People who came, the saying that there's a Grameen Bank, people want to take over the Grameen Bank properties and so on. These, these companies belong to Grameen Bank. So we have to hand over, we have appointed new chairman. We have appointed new board members, etc., etc. So they claim that this is our office. Uh, so that was a trespassing, a very simple violation of law, a very vivid violation of law, and forcefully occupying things. That's not legal. No matter what is your claim, if I'm uh, put in jail, uh, that makes a big blow to the whole movement around the whole world and people who are spending their day and night. Uh, devoting themselves to create a new kind of world. Uh, so we have that kind of invitations from many countries, uh, several from each country. Uh, and I keep saying, no, no, I have to be here. This is where it all begins. It's not only me, it's my whole people, a group of people uh, nationwide who are devoted to this. Their lifetime is spent on this. If I shift, the whole thing will fall apart. It will split the whole thing into destructions and so on.